I'm passionate about nature. Nature is fascinating. Uh, learning more about nature and building better instruments to understand nature is what fascinates me. Over the last five decades, the number of bees have steadily declined, and we are struggling to understand why is this happening. There are places in the world that we don't have bees anymore to pollinate. Regions in the United States are becoming very critical and we start producing less food than we could because we don't have enough bees. And if we continue this trend, it's likely that we're going to see the same picture around the world. Without bees, we don't have most of the fruits and all the veggies. There are a number of candidates for this bee assassination. We have pesticides, different types of diet, extreme weather events, and all these together influencing the health of the bees in a given way. For us to change this trend, we need to start understanding what's happening to the bees. The bees with backpacks is a tiny technology, it's a microchip that we put on the back of the bee and let them fly. Every day the bees leave and comes back in the hive, we detect all that information. We know exactly when the bees are leaving, how long they stay outside, how long they stay inside. And then that information from all the hives we have around the world comes to a single central computer at CSRO. And we process that information and then that becomes accessible to all scientists to understand what the bees are doing. What we're doing is quite revolutionary. Instead of competing, we are putting scientists together to collaborate and evolve the knowledge about what's happening to the bees. I think what first inspires me is the ability that people have to make a difference. The next time you see an apple, just thank a bee, because they did it. Yeah, they pollinate that for you. We are not building microchips, we are building the future of Australia, the future of the world. I'm Paulo, thank you very much for letting me share my story.